beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy bling bling day. Happy Easter. I am so excited. I wanted to thank everybody that has been commenting on my blinged out map. I am going to sit down when I'm done this right now, this intro, I'm going to go upstairs, put a movie on, and I'm going to start putting some pins in because I've got so many people. Thank you so much. So on today's video, if you have not yet given me where you live in the description box, please do, but don't repeat it because that way I'm going to try to keep it so that they're, you know, each person I'm going to put one pin, right? So with that, I'm excited. And also today I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, we are doing a, it's a bling bling. My Sunday bling blings have always been either broken glass, something funky and out of the ordinary. And that's what today is. Something funky and out of the ordinary. Um, next Maybe not the next weekend's video, but the next one, you guys are going to be amazed. It'll be my biggest bling bling ever. And my biggest, oh, I'm losing my crown. My gosh, guys. My biggest one to date is a five foot by six foot canvas. So this one's going to be even bigger. So hold on to your little, mm, for that one, because I think that's going to be cool. So I made this video probably two, oh, it's got the date two years ago. So this video inspired me for today's video. So this, if you remember, my blinged out um, beautiful doll, beautiful lady. <laughs> She's got, you know, glitter on for jewelries and all that stuff. This one doesn't have jewelry, but I made another one. I put jewelry on her. And so today we're going to do this, but with spring flowers. Oh my goodness. And I'm going into my comfort zone, my peeps. I am going to do pinks. So I hope you enjoy. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or an Easter egg. <laughs> Today's Easter. And get something to munch on. Um, I am going to get myself together. Get out of my bling bling outfit. Get my working girl clothes on. And I'll see you guys in a second. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Hello, we are back. I've got my working clothes on and we are ready to go. So the canvas that I'm using today is a 20 by 24 inch, um, the double packs that, at uh, Michael's, just the cheap ones. Um, this is a Cricut silhouette, which I've printed off. We've used this before in the other video with the um, Christmas tree bulbs. We're gonna put nail polish on, we're gonna put lipstick, we're gonna do eyeliner, eyelashes, and I have some fake eyelashes we're gonna put on there. We have some of these beautiful, these are gonna be her earrings. <laughs> go big or go home, right? And these, if I can get them all, are, is everything that I have picked up. Some of these I've had from Christmas. All these sparkly ones are from Christmas. Um, but I've picked up these beautiful flowers and they're all in the pink hue. So we're gonna glue them on as her hair. So I think that's gonna be awesome. Whether I use the sparkly stuff, I do not know, but we'll, we're gonna play around. So to start with, we're gonna put this stuff all aside and I'm gonna give this, now that I've put all my glitters on there, we're gonna give my canvas a little bit of a brush off. So there's nothing on it and we are going to do a base coat with my oh my goodness I cleaned up and where is my good brush <gasps> I'm missing my good brush no it is here it is my I thought it was a flat <laughs> but it's around. I'm using my um, Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo. It is an R945. Nine or four five. My brain is not working today. No, it's probably not focusing. And the paint I'm going to use is my Modern Masters. This one is, I think it's called Oyster. Oh, yeah. Oyster. 
and we're just going to do probably two base coats of white paint and that's it if I can open it up haven't used it in a while I know this ain't a traditional bling bling my friends but you're going to be impressed with what I have coming up I it's going to be the biggest bling bling I've done to date even my five foot by six foot canvas I think this might even be bigger <laughs> I'm excited that's pretty so it's just kind of white I'm just going to pour it on in the center just do a little row down here and that way I'm not wasting any paint by putting it on a palette. I'm just crisscrossing it just to get it into the canvas. Everyone is having an amazing Easter. I feel bad. I didn't get any Easter videos out. I usually try to do a week of whatever holiday is coming. But it is what it is, my friends. So here, I'm just going to not do that. Do that again, just a little down the line. any lines so I'm trying to go light down the side up and down could even get away with a bigger brush if you wanted you could do a foam roller it's all up to whatever you have on hand. Perfect. Just a little bit more here and I think we're good. And then I'll do the sides. We are doing absolutely nothing for Easter this year, which is funny. Normally we, my parents normally have something going on. And so I jokingly phoned my dad today. Hey, what are you doing? Did you do something? And I wasn't invited, but no, nope, they're not doing anything either. As the kids get older, we tend to drift away from stuff. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna get the edges. Let this completely dry because I don't want any glitter stuff. I'm just dumping that in the in, inside. I don't want any glitters on my, where I'm not putting the flowers or anything. So I wanna keep all that stuff white if I can. And this is kind of, really isn't white it's kind of pearly eh? like an opal -y. not opal but try not to touch the top and I just did there we go two more sides and then I will come back and we'll put our little face on and then we get to have the fun play 
and I have to remember right now to go plug my um, amazing new glue gun I got for Christmas which I couldn't use the other day because I forgot to plug it in. There we go, and one more, and we are good. Probably won't do a second coat just because we're putting, we're covering it all up anyways. I just wanted a base to go behind where I was putting that silhouette so she has some color. There we go, sides are done. Top is done. Now we're gonna let it dry and I'll see you guys a little bit for me and a couple seconds for you. There we go. I'll see you in a few secs, guys. Bye. Okay, we are back. This is dry. Now I'm taking this off. I, I'm not the best at showing computer stuff, so I apologize right now because I'm not going to be showing you how to do this. Now what I've done, I'm just going to try, it's a two foot canvas and that eye, like the tip of her nose, should be right about there. Okay, let me just, hopefully it's not sticking sticking. I'm going to come over this way just a tad. There. And then I'm going to start with my varnishing tool and just come and put this on. Even. All right, let's see if it comes off. No, come on. paint is peeling off. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. Oh, come on. Got an issue going down so I'm going to start by pulling this way so hopefully oh, come on Seriously. Is 
Shouldn't be this difficult, guys. It is because it's me. Wow. This is extremely painful, guys. I am sorry. that so I don't put it back on to where it was. Just put this nose back on here. So it's obviously the paint that I used is not agreeing with this. This is ridiculous. Once it's on, I can come back in and press it all down. It's just getting it off this paper. And the eyes, I'm not worried because I'm putting sort of eyeliner and that is ridiculous.
Oh my gosh. I still want to, oh no, not put it back down there. No. piece off. There we go. That is so ridiculous, guys. <sighs> now I'm just going to kind of pick it up and lay it how it should go. This side is the way it should be. You're getting a lesson on how not to do, or how it should not be difficult. Just want to get the face part line even. putting lipstick on so that's fine I'm gonna have to patch up just a couple pieces there, let's do this if I can get this to lay straight there Bring this back up. That's weird that it has a wow is all I have to say. I'm going to put a bracelet on. So, let me get the paint out again. Oh my goodness gracious. Here, 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 here. Oh, my, my, my. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything else because I now I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry. So what I'm gonna do is, sorry, that paper's sticking to me. What I'm gonna do is we will do all of the flowers. So I'm gonna plug in my glue gun. We'll do all the flowers, and then I'll come in after the fact to match up some glitters, because I got all Laura's pretty pinks out and red for the lips. So with that, my friends, I'm going to put you on hold while my glue gun um, heats up, and I'll be right back. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, my glue gun is more or less dry, dry, <laughs> warmed up. So what I'm going to do is, these came from the Dollarama. There was three of them. So I'm going to place one, two, three. Um, these also came from the Dollarama, $4, and I have three of them, so I'm going to place those kind of maybe two, pick the two best ones, and then we will go on from there. So we'll put one here, one here, put this other guy here. Now some of them I'm having to clip off 
with my little jewelry pliers. Just right there. I don't want to go too far in because I don't want to cut it off so that all the petals will fall off and that's a big one. I also have these. These are left from, where did the other one go? Oh here, it's hidden. These are from another batch I bought from Michael's. I had one or two left. And these are the pretty leaves from those. So we're gonna incorporate those. And maybe this here little guy, this was at Christmas time from Michael, or Dollar, this was Dollar Tree. And we can stick those in like this or down here. I also bought these. This is from the dollar store. And you could even stick them down, like here, hanging. Does that make sense? So we're gonna just start gluing on. And then I have this batch of little guys. So we'll fill it in with these. This was from the dollar store as well, Dollar Tree, Dollarama 350. And then I've got the carnations, different little sizes. And they were $3, so we're going to fill them in with these two. So for right now, I want to glue in the big guys so I know where they are. So we get this off, this off. And I'm going to glue my earrings on relatively soon once I get the main part. And then that way I can fill. I'm afraid to brush. <laughs> so we're going to do like that. I know it's hard for you to see because you guys are upside down. But for me, it's I need to be having it right on so I can see where I'm going. My daughter and my son-in-law bought me this freaking amazing glue gun for Christmas. And do you think I could find the charger, which was the big issue? I, with cleaning everything, I can't find, I've looked everywhere. So I'm just putting a huge amount of glue on this. And this is gonna be in the center. center right let's go let's get right about here because we can bring stuff down onto her face give it a push do, 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 so that glue will hold and then we'll put these two here and here kind of level with her eyes we'll put these in here and then we'll fill it all in i'm excited And again, just all kinds of glue. I want to thank everybody for commenting. And now I got myself a job. I need to figure out. <laughs> I got to put everyone's name or where they live on my map. 300 and something so far. Today's Saturday. So I'm going to have to get at that. So hopefully, I haven't done the intro yet. <laughs> I'm working backwards this week, so hopefully I'll have them all pinned on before I can... So the intro would have had them on there, I'm hoping. Lots of glue, lots of glue. My apologies, guys. And level with the other eye. Right about like that. I will flip it around periodically so you can kind of see what I'm doing. on. I need another glued stick. And let's do this. I always forget to put a little glue on there and stick it on in and it'll stick to it. Whoop. So now we want this to go in here and I'm going to see if I can cut this down just a little bit more because that's quite Quite, quite, quite. I was just afraid to cut so close. Oh, this one just pulled off. There, so that works. Let me do the other one while we're doing it. These ones actually just pulled off of the, here we go, lots of glue. This was supposed to be part of spring week, but you know, my life has gone crazy. It's been a crazy week. We've had some P 
people getting into our banking accounts that aren't supposed to be. Um, just, it's just, it's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> In my head, I'm thinking, ever since I broke that mirror to do my bling bling Christmas tree, things have not gone right. And I'm not a superstitious person. But that's, I keep thinking back to myself, oh my goodness, why? Okay, let's hold this down. These two are a little bit flimsier. Let me just see if they're actually sticking or not. Oh, yeah, they have to dry. Okay, perfect. See, look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? I think that's going to look pretty. Now we'll get some more in here. I'm going to keep flipping it around so you just can get a better look, but it's hard for me not to have it facing me. Okay, so should I put my earrings in now? And then that way I know where to put... I think that's what I'm going to do. Ears are just around the jawline, right? So I'm going to estimate where this lovely lady has her earrings put. I am doing glue upon glue upon glue. there and I don't want to go too close to the I guess it should have been a little closer but and then this one I feel bad the other picture I did that was a portrait of myself these were on it and the portrait was destroyed it got it got knocked over and all the balls fell off and so anyway so I ripped the <laughs> I thought I'm gonna repurpose them so I took them off of that and I think right about there that looks about even to me oh they're on good perfect all right let me just take a quick peek. See, look at that, my friends. Look, she's got some earrings on. I don't know if you can see where all those things are. I'm going to touch them up at the end. And then that way, I don't have to wait. Yeah, that's perfect, guys. I don't have to wait for the glitters. Well, mind you, I'm doing glitters with my... Anyway, long story short, we're putting glitters on with my varnish so that won't affect it all right so let's get let's put these two lovely ones maybe we can put them like here and here one here and this one in here I don't know yeah maybe here and here okay I'm gonna nip that one off a little bit more so I can go a little bit more flush Lots of glue again. And then let's put this one right about here. Yeah, I think that's cute. And then this guy. Maybe we can put that one in there. Maybe that's a bit too close. Well, we'll go over here again. More glue. And I'm swirling like this to prevent the strings of the glue. You all know how the strings of glue happen. Yeah. Do, do, do. <laughs> and then we're just going to start filling in with these little guys. Like that. Maybe, let me cut a bunch of these off so they're ready to go. I think a couple of these little dangly ones would be cute. So we'll 
do five maybe if they we can find them a right place to put them so these I'm just gonna maybe we can put like have it kind of hanging like that in like put it in and then put the flower on top like that these fall apart really easy stick them way up underneath so you're kind of seeing it but not I don't know if you can see that guys all right maybe that's what I'll do I'll place those in first and then we can put the other ones on top so let's go glue 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 So it kind of comes down. Another one. We'll put that one kind of over here under this guy. I might tack that down just because I don't like it the way it's sticking up. Let's see if it'll work. There. I'm just holding it so that the glue attaches. And then more glue on this one. Put this kind of, we'll bring it up a little bit. Do you see how high it's up there? And then the same with one here. And then I'm going to try and tack it down, like down here this way, so it's not so... And then I need to get a little bit on this one here. Oh, that looks so pretty already. Okay, and then we're just gonna fill it all in with these little guys and around the edge. I'm excited, this looks pretty. <sighs> now, the leaves. I've got one like this. Maybe what I'll do is cut them off and place them individually around her face. One, two, because I really want to use these ones. Because I think they're pretty. And then we'll cut that down a little bit. So I'll like place them in here. Maybe one underneath. Just so that you're... Mm. I'll put them in and then you can see what I'm talking about. I just want them in so that you can see just a little bit on her face. I think they'd look pretty. We're going to bring this one right straight across. Maybe we'll bring them in the same way. Does that make them? I'm losing the words today, my friends. Make the leaves all go the same direction. Maybe up in here. I know it's kind of, you'll see it in a sec. It's kind of covered, but I think it'll be fine. More glue on this one. I'm just going to come in like that. And then we'll put one here. I'm so sorry. More glue. And put this one kind of like that. Just above her eyebrow. So they're all kind of going the same way. And then I'll show you. The glue is sticking to my fingers. 
This is what I was trying to avoid. There we go. Now, can you see what I was trying to accomplish? There, I was trying to push them all the same direction. So now I'm going to fill them in. They're going to be in the background, so I, they're not going to be right in your face. Whoops, or in her face, I guess you would say. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Halloween with all the cobwebs. Okay, so let's get a couple of these carnations. They all fill in a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put cut them a bunch off. I didn't want to cut them all off so you didn't get think what I was not wanting to show you everything. So I'm just snipping them off. Got big ones, little ones. And this is going against my grain, guys. I am not a pink girl, but I think this will be pretty. going to cut them all off and then that way they'll be ready get my fingers working there we go, little ones big ones come on and at this stage now we got this thing we can throw away at this stage because they're a little longer you can actually stick them in and it'll be pretty good all right let's get these guys in so let's see we've got Three big ones, two of those, two of those, and one, two little ones. So we will place, oops, hmm. I'm wondering, let me just first, cause I, I wanna be, ugh, I wanna build it up, not have the leaves sticking out. So I'm wondering if I can, should put these in now, like here, here, and then maybe up here we can break these off. Maybe I'll do a little bit like this. Maybe we'll do two. And then, because I want these to be one. I want these to be underneath. I, oh, sorry. I'm using the wrong thing. three and see what they look like. So one there, one right at the top, and then one here. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then they're just going to pop out just a little bit after I fill the flowers in. I think we got it, my friends. Okay, so let's put this guy in first. Glue, glue, glue. And then, like I said, we can put the flowers on top. And I don't want the <laughs> I don't want the flowers to come right to the edge. I want to leave like that's about where I want to stop it. Let's put this one in. Same idea. Glue, glue, glue. I want to make sure I get it about the same distance from here to here. Give it a press down. Go. Get all these straggles. <gasps> oh no! See, I'm not meant to do nothing today. Look at this. You guys all seen that too, didn't you? Let's see if I can. I had a big blob of glue. I'm just trying to gently. Guess I'm touching the paint up here too. See? Everything happens for a reason, I guess. I don't know. Just giving it a light rub just to get the glue off. I keep wanting to show you what I'm doing. And that backfires. <laughs> Look at that. I have to patch that up now too. Okay, this one here. I'm doing the glue on the side, guys, because I don't want to do what I just did and this one I'm going to try to 
lift up and ah, bring it in so that it's there. I think that looks good. Now these green ones we'll put in. I've got two of them there. I'm just putting glue along the stem. Along the stem. Pulling these apart and Okay, some idea and try and make it even like the other one. There. Okay, now I'm going to come in with these guys. I might even cut these off a little bit more. The stems are, that one goes a bit long. Okay. I'm going to do three in the front, one, actually two here, and I'm just loading the glue on because it's going to get go in and sit among the other flowers that are already in here. Like that. I'll hold it for a second till it adheres. Um, same amount of glue on the other one. Kind of go to the same over here between these guys. There we go. And so we do one there and one here and one here maybe. Just glue on, like I said, I don't want to glue on the side because <laughs> I don't want to have a mess. So I'm going to try and glue like that. And this guy in here. So they're all kind of glue into each other. Another glue stick. Now, we'll fill in the front with some of these little ones in here. Actually, I think I need one here. Stick it there. Just to cover up all the little imperfections. And I'm gonna have to flip it around. You're gonna get to see. Because I wanna see what is kind of there. I'm going to flip it around and we're going to fill in this area. There. I think it looks cute. Yeah, look at that. Craziness, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, make sure they all stick it. All right, so let's get. using all these oh I didn't cut them all off I'm gonna start filling in at the top with these guys and I'm just gonna start clipping off here these ones come in clumps but I can take them off as well ones again were from the dollar store. Come on. One big bunch. All right, so that's that. I don't want to throw that out because we can use those leaves on something else. 
All right, let's get in here, and I'm just going to... Good, perfect. I'm just going to start gluing where I think I need to fill in here at the top. So I'm just... Just glue, 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 and sticking it in here. Just kind of filling in. I'm going to space them out. And glue here, and glue here. Oh my goodness. so it stays down. There. That one's good. Let's get... For some reason that stupid song gets in my head. Alright. Another one down here. I'm just holding it together like this, putting a bunch of glue. And the glue is actually dripping off because I'm putting too much on, so I have to pay attention. Glue lift up and go underneath. And these ones will spread open, which is kind of nice. I think that's good. Maybe a little one over here. right there on top of each of those green leaves ah! what is with this today put it in and I'm fanning it out so that you can it's filling up everything nicely well and then this big piece I'm gonna put right in here and that'll fill in the back of that rose pretty nice I don't know if it's a rose or not probably not and underneath it Fans it out. Awesome. So now I'm going to show you what I just did on the top. Can you see where I filled in all of those little empty spots? So if you're looking at it, oh, maybe I should put maybe one here. Let me just. Sorry, guys, I just hit you. I'm going to put one more in here and I'm just going to do a little one. Just enough to put it in. That's so nice with these ones, they they fan out. Just want to hit. There, perfect. And then I'm just going to put a couple of little ones around the face. And then I think our flowers might be done. I might do a little one here. And a little one here. Oh, I think that'll be cute. Okay. talking to my glue gun. Isn't that funny? Stop it. <laughs> All right. Hold that just so it kind of stays. Just so that flower is not like just a ball there. I think that's going to be cute. And again with this one, just hiding it up underneath that. There we go. And let's see, I'm just going to fill in, just in underneath, just 
glue the rest of these little guys in just to get rid of them and I think it'll bring it around her face pretty nice. So let's go here. Like I don't want to completely cover those green leaves, but I don't want them to be so big either. Like I want to be able to, I want paint to come through with the flowers. Actually, I'm going to put that one here. leaf of that bigger one so that it pulls it down without my finger getting stuck. There we go. Two more. Let's go. One right there. And then one right here. And then we are done with the flowers, I think until I show you what I think I might want to do. What do you think that's a brooch in her hair? Right about there? Maybe, maybe not. My little dragonfly that I made. Or I was thinking I had this peacock, this peacock one. We'll see that might be just a bit too much so we're just gonna wish I had another one of these but I don't they're all gone that I'm just looking to see what I have left because it would be cute to put one here and one here but I think that's it my friends oh I forgot about this. Well, I put, let me cut a couple off because you know it's me. These would be cute in there too, I think. One. Three. Let's do five and see. Oh, that one's not. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't want to throw it out. I just wanted to put it aside. Now I'm just going to set them in here. Let's see. You know what? I'm putting them in. What do you think, guys? These little things in here. I think I think they look cute. Okay. All right. I'm going to glue them in, and then we are done with the gluing. We will get our lips and eyelashes and nail polish on, and then we will be good. And then I'm going to have to... redo my touch-ups there where I've got my hand and where glue was stuck. It's crazy. Ow! The glue gets hot, my friends. 
Ow, let me get that. Okay, so let's get two more. Trying to push them in as far as I can kind of go. Just so that they're popping out just a tad. Perfect. And now we'll put these two here. And then I'm going to get my brush and we'll brush everything off this canvas. That's a new word. I don't know what that was. All right, so let's get this other one and then I can put the glue gun away. Nope. I got this one little flower. All right, he'll go with the other stuff. And that is garbage. Spokes. We could do the odd leaf just sticking up like that. Nope. Nope, we're done. Okay, so that stuff's gonna go away. Let me get my my brush. I'm gonna gently brush everything off. stand up take a pic oh guys I am so happy that is so pretty I've impressed myself okay so I'm gonna flip it around so I can get at this so now big decision I really think that the magenta sparkle is gonna be my nail polish my eyeliner I got some artificial um, eyelashes so they will go on and let me unplug this glue gun first sorry before I end up burning myself <gasps> I probably wouldn't have done that if I didn't try to unplug it I just whacked my arm with the with the hot uh. okay so we got that and I don't know. I was going to do red lips, but do you think red lips? Would, yeah, I think that would, would go well. So we're going to use Fire Engine Red for the lips. We're going to use the Magenta Sparkle for the nails and the eyeliner. And I think that's that, my friend. So let me get my stuff together. I am going to use my um, Dura Clear Varnish and mix that with my glitters to put that on and we're good to go. So I'll see you guys in just a second. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I have these loose beads that are AB, which means that they've got that Aurora, like that pearlized coloring on them they're not just a clear crystal this is oops I can't show you because I'll, I'll take the tag off when I'm done what I've done there is kind of like a fishing wire and I'm just going to glue the top bead and glue here and we will put that on there so I unplugged my glue gun before I was ready so what I'm going to do is put one there and lay that one bead. And lay it here. Just a little bit and lay, make sure they're tight. Oh, 
Oh, what am I doing? I don't think I need to hold on to that. There. And then now, let me just pull this out. And then I'm gonna glue each bead beside each one. Does that make sense? I probably could have just made myself a bracelet. It would have been easier. I'm just gonna put a glue line. And let's pop some beads on there. that worked well and I'm going to do another line here in front and put a second row. I'm going to start here. And let's do this quick here so we're not going to go hard on me. Perfect. There we go. So we'll leave that. And I think that was the only other thing I needed the glue gun for. Let me just put... Something needs to go here. Make it look a little... Yeah, that looks a little better. And then one more here. Just putting a dab of glue on the end of the bead. Perfect. And I ended up putting another flower here because when I, I took it up to show my husband, and of course he rolled his eyes, you know how that is. But I noticed there was a hole here. So I had that one little flower, so I put it in there. So there you go, we have a bracelet. Oh. We've got a nice chunky little bracelet. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna get our eyes, makeup done, eyelashes, and yeah, so now I'll be right back. I'm gonna get everything together because I saw to that after, before I unplug the glue gun again. Okay, I'll see you in a sec, guys. Hello, I am back. So right now we are gonna put our eyelash I decided I'm gonna do the whole lid possibly actually maybe I'll just do here we'll see but I'm gonna use um, pink dazzle from Laura's art corner the lips we are gonna use the engine fire engine red and ooh, the nails we are going to use the magenta sparkle i thought that that pink would be too much close to this and the lighter pink might be nicer so i have my duraclear varnish gloss varnish i'm pouring a little bit in each one of these little cups here i'll move so you can kind of see what i'm doing just a little because we're not using a lot right just a little squirt not much at all because we're not doing a lot right 
Let me get my little spoons out here so I can get some glitter. So for the eyes, we're using Pink Dazzle from Laura's Art Corner. So I'm going to put Just give it a stir because you want to get all of that and I want Oh, it helps if I No wonder I wasn't getting anything. I had the spoon upside down. Let me just get a couple of sticks so I can stir them. Pretty cool when you can see your stuff after you've organized everything. That's perfect. Look, see that's going to pop down here. All right, so that's for the eyes. Um, I'll put my lid on that. Again, that one was the Pink Dazzle from Laura's Art Corner. Um, magenta, I'm gonna do for the two nails. I thought she had more nails than that. It's hard to see because I flipped it into this container. So this is Magenta Sparkle from Laura's Art Corner. And you'll see here in a sec that it is gorgeous. Let me just give it a stir like look at that guys that's so pretty I figured that might be too close to the flowers and we don't need just look at that just enough to do the two nails and the third one is for the lips we're gonna go with hot lips Houlihan oh that might be a little chunky chunky fire engine but we're gonna use it anyways. Fire Engine Red for the lips. Let me get, here I'll just use my stir stick. We'll do two. And then I'll give it a stir and see. All right, so here we go, my friends. Now I've got these paint brushes. These are from um, Mod Podge. They come in a little kit and I like them because they're small. So I'm going to work this way down so I'm not goofing any anything up. So look at that. And I'm goofing up already. All right. The big decision. Do I just do in here? In here? And I just want to see how wide those are. Okay. We're just going to do it in here. Taking a substantial amount. And spread it out evenly. This one's got some chunky. Oh, that's good. I might bring it right to the eyelash here. Perfect. Now let's do this one. I'm just mixing it up. Woo. And this one's going to get like I'm debating whether the eyelashes are too small. I know that's a lot. I can wipe it off. I'm just going to try and brush it this way. And we're going to come down and I'm going to come in between the eyelashes. There, I know that looks like a mess, but let me get my 
I'm going to use one of these silicone brushes and then come across on that. Push everything off of the black. I'm just going to leave it like that. Oh my goodness. I have never had such a hard time with a cricket thing sticking. I'm just scooping up because I don't want it to go past. Oops, don't put your hand in the other one. That's that. Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. I'm going to have to pay attention because that, I'm going to cut that off because that is going to end up going right into the nail polish. Where did I put my little nippers? I'm just going to cut this last ball off here. There. And that way it's not going to stick on my nail. So let's get the lips done. And oh, there it is. I'm gonna say, what did I do with the? There, we're gonna use the same one, and let's get the lips done here. I have to mix more of this one up. I want to get it right on that line. Almost like I don't have enough glitter in that part. I just about, oh, see, this is just how I tell you guys. You didn't see it, but oh, maybe you did. All right, let's just stir this up. That's why it's good to, it's nice for the eyes, but the lips should have been fine. Glitter. Come on. I'm trying to spread the glitter out. I think that's good. Now let's get the bottom. I am just gonna do one. Scoop the rest in here, because, and then spread it out. Yep, I need a, just a tad bit more. Isn't that the way it works? Just as half a squirt. And some more glitter. There. 
There we go. I just don't want to lose that black line between the lips. I know I just did there, but I'm going to come back with my... There, so that's good. That's that color. I'm just going to wipe off my little brush. I'm going to come in with my silicone brush and come and separate. Try to find that line. Yeah. Wow, those lips look really weird compared to the other one. But anyways, it is what it is. I still think it's cute. All right, so let's get the nail polish on and then we are done. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a touch up on those couple of spots that didn't quite work out. Oh, that's perfect. I'm glad I did that this way because awesome. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to put the other one. We'll set that there. Go there. And I'm going to flip it around and you guys can see. And I know I brought you up a little bit closer, but there you go. Oops, I shouldn't. I think it turned out cute. Still not sure about the lips, but everything else is awesome. I love the lighter color there and the darker color on the nails. Now I'm going to come in and do a little touch up on the nose, a couple spots right there where the beads were and right here where the glue dropped. And I'm going to let it dry. So let's get in here. We'll get a my stuff together here and we'll get my little paintbrush I'm just gonna put a little bit well I'll just use the the actual just right out of the tub I'm just gonna get my brush and brush all of the sparkly stuff away without there we go I have a little spot up here, uh, right here. So I'm just gonna take my, my little brush and we'll see, hopefully it'll work. Just a little bit. I think that'll be all right. So now I'm gonna flip it so I can do the other couple of spots here. Let's see, you can see there. on this nose. Here, where the silly glue was. 
probably would have been better to just leave that. I just want to cover where the hole. Okay. I think that's it, my friends. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on this. If that doesn't look right, maybe I'll stick a flower petal or something down there. We'll see. We will see. Oh, mom, well, maybe the butterfly can sit there. <laughs> There's always something. So I'm going to come back in and try to separate that little line so I don't look like those big puffy lips that someone's had some work done. All right, we're going to let this dry and then we will come back and hopefully be able to put our um, eyelashes on. We'll see. How big because they're, they're kind of I expanded her face so she's big so all right I'll see you guys when it's dry I'm so excited it looks so pretty okay we are back everything is dry I'm gonna give my little signature here and I think we are done let me see which these are both the same one says pan this is just a sharpie and I'm gonna sign it right in here When I did the my toll painting, we always signed your piece within the piece. Does that make sense? Instead of putting it over here like I did the other one. But oh my my. Other than my lips being a little wonky, I think this turned out freaking amazing. So I'm going to put it on my stand behind me. And I'll give you a nice close up. And I'll see you guys in a second. There you go, my peeps. Oh my god. Goodness, I am so in love with this. Now, I'll get in and I'll show you. You see how the flowers? Just perfect. I don't know, maybe those look like two little ears. <laughs> oh well, but it's good. I love how it turned out. I'm impressed with just that little hint of the, the glittery things. You know, not overtaking. Um, and those were basically all darlish. Da -la 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 -la, all dollar store flowers except for this one and and that one so there are some pretty ones out there my friends now you can still see my little glue mix up but that's fine for me I um yeah next time pay attention to the glue so this was the inspiration I have a video on this one um where I used Christmas balls I also have another one where I did a portrait, a portrait of myself, which are using the blue, the purple and green balls because of my hair color. Um, you can see where I kind of stretch the face out a bit too much. Like the face looks really nice on this one. And I think that's why my lips look really funky <laughs> on this one. <laughs> but anyways, I love it. Um, so with that, I hope you are having an amazing Easter weekend. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. And don't forget, please, please give me in the description box, please give me where you live. Now, if you've already commented on the other video, please don't repeat it. Because that way I'm, I'm trying to map out where everybody is. So with that, I'm going to go through my little spiel with all my amazing sponsors. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds. I have the links to where to purchase tri art liquid glass. I have the links for crystal resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5. I have the links to um, Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M10. I also have the two amazing Lares distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. 
And last but not least, the amazing Laura, my glitter guru, which is the glitters we use today. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10%. And with that, my PayPal is there if you choose to donate and help support my channel. And with that, my amazing people, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. She's so pretty.